Having dedicated edge pattern shifter in the correct place is great boost in inversion for our sim rig. It matters even more for rally and classic car fans such as myself. Hi, I am Studio and this is my garage. The BDH shifter got its nickname Bazooka because of its unique shape. This is premium grade edge pattern shifter which sports a shiny cylindrical machined aluminum body. Its design is based around the Ford Escort Mark II rally car shifting mechanism and today we will see how it actually performs. It appears to be a big shifter but in reality it's quite compact. All this metal amounts to about 3.5 kilos and you have to be careful when you mount it. There is another cool feature, namely a flat side on which you can mount a small exciter for tactile feedback. Shifting experience is superb, you have good resistance and also very pronounced gates. In this orientation you will find 7th and reverse gear on the far right. In the somewhat loose setting I like, you need about 3 kg of force to shift. Both in, gear and out of gear. It has a tensioning mechanism which is easily adjustable by a hex screw and a thumb block. For this you wouldn't need any tools. It features quite large and granular range of adjustment. You can go from virtually no resistance to a totally blocked shifter. You can see here with a couple of turns we are getting a kilogram extra force needed. In this setting it's already hard to turn back to neutral and we are usually skipping to the next gear. Let's quickly return to normal setting and continue with our review. As you can see, despite the long lever, the shifter has very short travel. I personally find it perfect, but recently BDH started manufacturing these extensions. You get two lengths, which is 45 and 70 mm and you will be able to adjust the shifter length from 70 to a whooping 145 mm. Now is a opportune moment to mention this is not a full featured review, but it works in conjunction with the text below in the description. If you want to know more, just follow the link and read all about it. It is time to take a look inside and see how the gate mechanism operates. It is very easy to get to it, the cover is held by a single stopper screw. The gate design is quite clever, they are simulated by M5 screws covered with plastic caps. These plastic covers, they provide smooth transition between gates should you ever touch them. My shifter has more than 6 months of heavy use and these plastic caps are still in very good health. If they loosen for you and you cannot shift anymore, it's very easy to retighten them and get back to perfect shift. Myself, I needed to do this only once, but this could be because of my extensive bar shaker setup. Let's open up the other end. The cover is held by two small screws. Removing it uncovers the main shaft pivot assembly. Both this and the back cover are very easily removable even with the shifter mounted on your ring. This provides very easy maintenance access should you ever need it. If you develop any longitudinal play in the gear stick, you can Tighten this bolt and remove it. Here you will also find your serial number, a clever place to hide it. Removing those two retention brackets will allow you to change the shifter mounting position. Every bracket is held by four screws. You can either assemble now in the correct position you want it or mount the bracket to your rig and later put the retention brackets together with the shifter body. Detaching the shifter body from base reveals the operations brain, an USB game board controller. If the design relies on micro switches, it is very easy to integrate it in other projects or change the controller altogether. Shifter can be mounted in both directions forward and backward. Also it supports side mounting and bottom mounting. This washer helps you align the shifter either in bottom mounted or side mounted position. Interchanging between those two options is very easy, just change the position of the alignment washer. You can clearly see here the indentation which aligns with the washer and puts the shifter in the side mounted position. The original shift knob is with a popular rally style. It is nylon based and 
and very nice to touch and quite comfortable shape. For those of you who are like me and like customization, the shifter will accept almost any aftermarket shift knob. Shifter utilizes the standard M10 by 1.5mm thread. This, as you saw earlier, required me to use one of the adapters who came with this aftermarket shift knob. Once you set the desired mounting option, it's very easy to mount the bazooka shifter to your rig. This of course is presuming that you are using a standard aluminum extrusion cockpit. Shifter unique layout allowed me to align it pretty well with my other hardware. It looks to be very close, but it having such short shift it clears every component pretty nice. Around this point I decided to upgrade my shifter tactile feedback. I slept in there a full size aura shaker which fitted perfectly with everything else. Here I will be quiet for a while so you can enjoy the music and some pretty satisfying gear shifts. This layout 7th and reverse are on the far right. And now comes the fun part, the mandatory action in-game footage. One bazooka shifter, despite its high price point, is one excellent product and it's totally worth it. It looks very cool, shifts extremely well and has a unique design. The shifter features some very clever mechanical solutions and also is very easy for maintenance. The immersion is superb and it really lives up to the iconic Ford Escort Mark II after which it was designed. As you can imagine, this looks to be one of the best shifters out there and I don't see any reason to change it for something else. I really wonder what Team BDH has in store for us next. <laughs> 